Hi, I'm Caressa Jackson, cooking in the kitchen at Meadow Hall at the Meadow Event Park. Today we're going to be making a traditional onion casserole. Really excited about this dish. What we're going to use is about two sliced thin onions. We're going to use butter crackers, my favorite just happened to be Ritz, some sour cream, Parmesan cheese, and butter. The very first thing that we're going to start with is our butter. This is one half cup of butter and we're going to put it in a pan and start to melt it over medium heat. As it's melting, I just want to show you how I chopped up most of our onion. I just do slices. Some people like to go ahead and push theirs and just make rings. I tend to cut mine in fourths just because it's easier to spread throughout the pan. All right. Being that it's springtime, you can find onions almost everywhere you go. For a recipe like this, we're gonna use two onions, but if you have to take something to a church picnic, you can use five or 10. You can just keep um, doubling up on the recipe until you've made as much as you want to. Onions are grown all over the state of Virginia. They're really fresh right now, so I'm excited to make this dish. We're gonna add our onions. Notice that you did not hear a sizzle. What we don't want to do with this dish is start to kind of saute our onions the same way you would do if you were making a steak or something like that. What we want to do is to get our onions a little bit tender before we add our mixture of sour cream and Parmesan cheese and bake it in the oven. So that's why I have it over low heat. Just want to melt the butter and get the onions tender. I'm going to add a little bit of our onions in at a time just to make sure each piece of the onion is coated in butter. Also the perfect time to add in your seasonings and I'm gonna be using salt and pepper. And this you can do to taste. And we're gonna to wanna to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. You don't want to skim on the cooking time because that's really what produces the flavor of this dish. I know sometimes it's really easy to want to rush or want to take the fast way out, um, but for this dish and to get the uh, most out of your onions, we want to make sure that we are slow cooking it for about 10 minutes on low heat. So now our onions are very tender and we're going to go ahead and add them to a very large mixing bowl. Maybe the same one you started with, because this is the same one I started with. And then we are going to add our sour cream to it and mix it evenly. I know a lot of people are probably wondering why I'm using onions as a standalone dish, but it absolutely can be used as a standalone dish. A lot of times we use onions to accent a steak that we're cooking or to give something else more flavor, but onions have such a unique flavor of their own that it's a little bit time we give them their opportunity to shine. So we are mixing up our onion mixture here, and then we're gonna put half of it in an already greased baking dish. Just about half, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Then we're gonna add half of our Parmesan cheese. So about one fourth cup because we have a half cup here. We're gonna add the remaining of our onion mixture. The rest of our Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to top it with some crushed butter crackers. We're going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes on 375. Our onion casserole is out of the oven and it smells amazing. Butter crackers are nice and warm, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to a bowl. Sometimes I like to eat this as a main course by itself and I don't even have anything else with it. It's just so good. So 
So here you have it, onion casserole. It's a perfect dish to eat by itself or as a side dish, and it's something awesome to bring to those spring potlucks. I'm Caressa Jackson for Heart of the Home. Come and get it. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafarmbureau.org.